All right, so people want to know if a supernatural universe will ever be possible. Well, if there's no supernatural universe now, if <laughs> I don't think it will be possible, but um, because I think it's going to be natural, and if we find different stuff out there, it's going to be still natural, but it's going to be stuff we just don't know about. There's forces or elements or, you know, um, um, you know, so therefore no gods will ever be possible. If there was a supernatural universe, yeah, then obviously because it's supernatural, gods could be possible, or there are multiple gods. Um, I would say probably DS gods, gods of no religion, maybe like alien gods. But as far as we know, the universe is not supernatural. And, um, but if, it, if we like explored like years from now, we'd find like something that defied everything. But that, but even if we did that, that could still point to stuff that could be natural. Stuff we don't know about, maybe like alien technology, alien forces. You know, to us may, it might seem supernatural. But when we discover if the process of how that works turns out to be natural, which we don't know, it's still going to be natural, you know? If, you know, so I just don't think a supernatural universe um, is ever going to be. Um, so no angels, no demons, no Satan, no, <laughs> no um, gods. Um, I just think it's, it's just going to be an ever-continuing point of a natural universe and then like I said when we get to the point of um, you know whether it's alien technology um, alien forces forces out there um, I think it's just going to point to a more explanation of a natural universe because I don't think any of these concepts of supernatural would, would even be possible you know people say like pantheism, um, God is a universe, God is a planet, God is the mind, and where the hell that come from, you know, once you put God in the equation, you have to explain, well, what created that, you know, you have to explain that, um, you know, I mean, if we, oh, if we lived in a supernatural universe throughout the whole time, okay, you know, God's could fit in the picture, but, but we don't, everything's explained naturally, so, once you put the concept of any kind of gods, you know, deist god, pantheist god, um, whatever god, um, you have to explain where the hell that came from and and and, um, and where where the hell the mind come from. <laughs> so um, um, I don't think there's ever going to be a god. I can say for sure there is no gods. Uh, be, I mean, because it's the universe is not supernatural, you know. And I think if if we you know if we keep on learning more. Um, I don't think it's going to get to a point of super, you know, it's going to be hard to, to tell, you know, well, I think it's always going to be natural, but it's going to be means we don't understand yet, whether it's alien technology, elements, forces that we don't know. The only way it could be supernatural, if, 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 um, like I said, it would be hard to say, but something like, um, but I, I don't, I think the only way it could be supernatural if there, if there was like, um, um, I guess gods is only I could think of. Because I, I think the only way is, you know, because like I said, what might be seem supernatural to us is still going to be natural. It's just going to be a different form of natural and then there will be explanation like I said, this is alien forces, alien technology, you know, alien, you know, telepathically reading people's minds, telekinesis, um, you know, if aliens can do that, if there's forces out there can do that, you know, it's, uh, it's pushing, you know, uh, past natural, but, but if there's a mean of explanation, it still falls in the realm of natural. It's, um, you know, it's, um, so it's, um, 
I think that's what's going to bow down, bow it down to be. Um, it's just more stuff that you know we don't know about. Um, will seem really, really bizarre to us. You know, really bizarre to us. You know, whether, like I said, whether it's some kind of forces, workers, elements. Um, you know, maybe we'll experience double gravity. Maybe we'll experience like you throw the ball up in the air and it just doesn't come down. Um, you know that that. Um, if, okay, basically the thing, what it boils down to, supernatural has no explanation. If it's if it's something that we, um, it might seem really bizarre to us, but it has an explanation. It still falls in the natural realm, no matter how bizarre it is. It still falls in the natural realm. Supernatural, bottom line, has no explanation. And that's, um, I don't think it'll get to a supernatural point. There you go. Um, like Matt Delehani said, you know he's he's a he's a he's actually a, a stronger atheist than I ever thought. He said it, even if it, if there's like a God manifest in front of him, um, he, you know he wouldn't believe in any gods. He said even if the, if the Red Sea parted in half, he he actually wouldn't even think of supernatural. It's a pretty strong atheist, um, um, and I think that's probably because of all that years he had. And, um, you know, being religious, he got to the point, you know, when he was like looking at all these religions and stuff. And he's like, you know, he's got to the point where it's, I really have to narrow this down all the way to find all explanations, no matter how bizarre it is. And I think that's actually very, very smart. <clears throat> but for some people, if the Red Sea just parted in half, people are like, oh, that's supernatural. But he like... Well, maybe it could be tectonic forces. Maybe it could have been an earthquake. Maybe it could have been, you know. Um, um, and I know what he means because I've had like doors closed by themselves. But it turns out it was the air conditioner. It was the wind that did it. You know, it wasn't supernatural. Um, so um, I think that's a good concept. Um, you know, ver be strict all the way to the point. No matter how, if it's a supernatural occurrence, say, you know. How did this happen? How could have this happened? Um, but but yeah, but he might be stronger atheist than me. I mean, if I if there was like a a figure manifesting in front of me and I wasn't dreaming, I'd be like, there's something to this thing, <laughs> you know, or was whether some kind of god or whatever, you know. Um, and I wasn't on drugs or hallucinating or uh, or sleeping. Um, but that said, your mind still can play tricks on you at some points, you know. Whether you don't have food, I've had it happen. I've seen things, and it's just um, my brain was, was I didn't have enough food. I was uh, dehydrated. I, I was stressed. You start hearing things and seeing things. So I know what, he, I know what Matt Delahani means. Even a, like a manifestation in front of you, you know, that could be your mind playing tricks on you because your mind is pretty, pretty crazy and interesting you know and your mind really can you know from the dreams we have the nightmares can just conjure all this kind of stuff you know there, there's cases where people have nightmares and they just they're in a in a place where they're paralyzed they feel like they're paralyzed and, and they just can't move they're stuck in that dream they're stuck in that nightmare so the brain is, is very strange and i think as we learn more i, I think it's possible Aliens had to do at least something with it in or consciousness, but I could be wrong. And if it's not aliens, then wow, that's gonna be a really interesting thing. How how that all this can occur? And I guess if it wasn't aliens, um, it could have been just you know different neurons. Um, we'll we'll find a pathway to consciousness, different neurons connecting, and and um, so it it could be a lot of things. But um, I I, I can never throw aliens out of the picture because. If there's multiple worlds, multiple universes, multiple planets, and if we evolved through different uh, planets, um, panspermia or life originated on different planets, it's possible aliens has something to do with the universe or us. Um, it's possible. I'm not saying it's guaranteed. It still could have been through um, natural processes or unknown processes. But I think that's what it's going to boil down to. I don't think it's ever going to boil down to gods, um, and and the concept of reward and punishment is just retarded. That's just that's retarded, <laughs> you know. So it's 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 either going to boil down to processes we don't know, natural processes, unknown natural processes, or aliens. And I think that's what's going to boil down to as we go further and further and learn more about the unknown 
about the space and universe and existence. Peace out.